Winter and the COVID-19 virus kept us all cooped up a bit more than usual this spring. With people returning to public lands, Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife staff are eager to get public access sites and wildlife areas ready. I'm happy to do this. I mean, anything we can do to get the public back out, keep them as safe as we can, happy to do it. WDFW crews across the state cleaned and repaired hundreds of public boat launches and other facilities, many of which have been closed since last fall. Depending on the site, there's a lot of work that goes into opening a property. Spokane Area Access Manager Dan Zekin starts with the restrooms, spraying them top to bottom with bleach, letting it soak, then rinsing them out. Like other access managers across the state, Dan has dozens of water access sites and wildlife areas to prepare. His territory covers a large geographic area with over 40 sites. He estimates that many days he puts upwards of 300 miles on his truck. Yesterday, each bathroom was taking about half hour to 45 minutes. Yesterday, I finished four sites just because of how far I had to drive. So staff from all areas of WDFW have volunteered to help our field staff get sites as ready as possible for the public by the May 5th opening date. Uh, we don't hesitate to help each other's programs out when, when needed, and right now, it's kind of needed. While Dan tackles the restrooms, on this particular day, habitat biologist Leslie King and fish biologist Randy Osborne pick up trash and clean the parking area with leaf blowers. Large limbs and trees that came down over the winter are cut up and removed to make the areas as accessible and safe as possible. Keep in mind that with so many areas to cover, and many of them in remote locations, not all gates will be unlocked and not all restrooms open right away. Dan and his counterparts across the state will get there as soon as possible, and they're happy to do it. If you choose to get out and enjoy WDFW managed lands and facilities, please take measures to protect yourself and others. Recreate only with members of your immediate household to avoid potentially spreading the COVID-19 virus, and bring face masks when you can't avoid getting closer than six feet to someone else. I want to get outside and recreate, and I can't blame them. Um, I've been cooped up just the same as everybody else. I want to go out and fish. That's a lot of what I've been getting. And I Bring your own sanitizer, toilet paper, and gloves, and pack them out with you along with your other trash. And if a site is crowded when you get there, come back a different day or choose a new destination. We look forward to seeing you, from a distance, back outdoors again. When I grew up, somebody provided this opportunity for me, and it helped make me who I am and you know, gave me all the experiences I had as a child. So it's, to me, I enjoy providing that to other people.